What's up guys, it's Slano the Builder back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a good night out there today. Well, tonight we're gonna be doing part two of Tech Conception's interview with them, my interview with them. How can junior developers become senior developers? If you haven't seen part one, I recommend that you check that out. It will be linked up above. But without any further ado, let's get into it. You're always going to feel inadequate, but have the confidence to say, okay, I, I don't know everything, but this thing, I really understand it and I'm good at it. So, yeah. Right. Thanks. Valuable in insight there. Well, how, can I ask you, um, each of you, how long were you a junior and were you ever a junior then? And how did you, how, when, what day, you know, would you say you uh, made that transition? I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's people on Twitter still say I'm a junior, right? So, like, I would say, let, let me go give a little bit of background. So, uh, I started as a co-op uh, back in Cleveland. I did three years as a co-op. And then once I graduated the university, I did three years as a junior developer. Uh, but everybody knew me as a junior developer, right? And maybe that's just unique to me, right? Um, so no matter how hard I would study um, in the evenings and have my own separate projects and then introduce things that I've learned that quote unquote the senior developers weren't really familiar with, it didn't matter. I was still junior. Um, and so it wasn't until I made my declaration that I was going to get a, a certain Microsoft certification and that I got to the level where I finally took that certification. I bombed it. Well, I didn't bomb it. I did well in everything except for the deployment section. And that section alone, which I really didn't take seriously, caused me to fail. But <laughs> I had so much confidence. When you start, when you start interviewing for a position as a engineer or developer, and you know more about the technology than the person interviewing you. <laughs> that means something. It may not mean you're a senior, but it means you know your ish, right? I forgot that he said that. You know, that's that's part of the grind, part of taking it serious, part of becoming what you know you plan on becoming and putting in the work to get there. Like that's a very think about that. Imagine that you're interviewing with somebody and you're teaching them stuff at the same time. It's a no brainer. Like he said, if you can get to that level, that's a super in inspiring thing to strive towards right, for right. juniors. It wasn't until I moved down to, to Florida and then started networking and joining the, the various user groups down here that um, people started thinking I was really smart. But back home in Cleveland, people just knew I was a junior developer. And they mm. that that reputation, right. that first impression, that, that's like mm. glue. It's like it's like it's hard to get people to change their perspective of you, right? Not Graduate you. Possible, but yeah. once people first meet you and once you make your another thing I forgot about. We're talking about the transition of how to go from junior to senior, right? If they know you as a junior, that's a good point that, you know, it's hard to get there, that perspective to change, no matter how much work and, and hours and stuff that you put in. I, I could imagine, though, if you do build something extremely useful, a software that, that does well, that's another thing. Like a lot of our, our talks, you know, and our um, plans, I feel like are always geared towards getting hired. And, you know, I just feel like with the tech market being so bad, right? Maybe the move for us is to then just create our own software, you know, which I'm, if you see me over here typing, I'm multitasking right now because I have a lot of things that I'm working on, but I did see some picture earlier today that kind of inspired me to like slow down a little bit. I don't, I probably won't be able to find it, but it basically was just saying that like, you can do a lot of things but you can only do certain things well. But let's continue. That's a side, my bad sidebar. Your mistakes that you make, people hold on to that, right? Ask mm -hmm. Mike Tyson. So 
Um, mm-hmm. Make long story short, it wasn't until, and I'm going to ask you a question. It wasn't until maybe after my first contract, which lasted a year, that I genuinely felt respected as a professional doing senior type work. That might not be reality, but that that's that was my belief system. Okay. Interesting. Um for me, ooh, okay. So I was one of those um I started this whole thing when I was 19. I think it was 18. It's 17, 18 was when I started coding. So I've always been a quote unquote junior, right? Um, even in you know, from even perspective, even if I knew more than people who are senior, they wouldn't just hire a 21 year old and make him a senior. That you know, that just didn't feel right, especially where I'm from in Nigeria. So I have had that, you know, shadow over my career for the longest time. And the only time I was able to break out of it was when, as a junior, I was leading projects with seniors in it, right? So it was at that point they were like, you know what? We have to promote this guy. So when I was in, um, I think uh, when I was in the company, I got promoted six times in four years because of the amount of competence I was able to uh, uh, demonstrate. And that did he say six times in four years when i was in um i think uh w- when i was in the company i got promoted six times in four years because mm. of the amount of competition yo that's crazy but you can be that good but you have to imagine the hours that he has put in to get there the expertise that you can have but still it's there so you got two dudes i see why they are like so close friends they're two high level like got it out the mud one from nigeria and one just can't remember where he's from but still you can tell he's got the you know the the whole been through the fire basically is what i'm looking for let's go competence i was able to uh uh demonstrate and that conf- competence came from curiosity and side projects so that's something that i would tell a lot of junior developers is have a side project you're doing and people say oh how do i break the whole experience uh oh you need this amount of experience to start working here but to work you need experience to the way to break that is you can get experience without working and that's from right. side project right so getting side projects working on side projects seeing the full picture is what makes you move into senior very quickly and in my building a serious side project getting the experience seeing the full picture check my own case was when i worked with some senior devs on the project we delivered the project so there was some level of attribution that was done that okay this guy can play among the big boys quote unquote right and then after that because there's also a rub that happens when you work with very good senior developers you get a rub from them that that you know improves you to their level sort of and then once i got that i now started leading teams where i was now helping other developers it was at that point that you know i made quote unquote the transition to senior um developer so yeah okay the point where you can help others you know whether onboard into a team you know get things done you can Mm -hmm. unblock other people it's at that point you become a senior you know that's what i think this this can i'll try not to beat a dead horse but (laughs) i'm not really a firm believer that you require co-workers or your a job in general to to tell you that you're a senior for example um something that i'm a huge fan of which i don't really do that much anymore is Pledge allegiance to the industry over your employer, meaning document your journey, main, maintain a technical journal, aka also known as blog, right? Um, record record what you've learned or your struggles 
on like a YouTube channel, ask questions or try to set a goal on Stack Overflow to ask so many questions that people deem valuable or answer so many questions that people appreciate. All this is community centric. Um, mm -hmm. Volunteer to give presentations at your local user groups. And all this is more focused on the industry and not necessarily your peer co-workers at some mediocre, uh, mediocre, should I say, organization. So I've always mm -hmm. been a fan of like, damn an employer. Like, I understand. I'm thankful that they gave me opportunity, but that's not who I pledge allegiance to. My allegiance is to the industry. I'm going to be a servant of my industry and they're going to recognize me once I demonstrate why I deserve it. Right. So, that makes sense because it, I could, it is very hard to earn that promotion, like no matter how good you do within the team that initially gave you your first chance, you know, it yeah. like, yeah, I could definitely see that. Yeah, you, you, you go the strategy of being a servant of the industry, you'll develop way more relationships in the industry, I would argue, than you would at your mediocre uh, company. AKA your employer. So, I, mm -hmm. I, I kind of disagree. I kind of agree. So, but let me tell you where I disagree. Um, I disagree because if you're a solo developer, there's a good chance that your bad habits will reinforce themselves. Right. And when, with respect to the industry, you, no one is going into details on specific projects. We're just talking about concepts. On that level right when you're networking with outsiders and all of that but when you're working with someone on a project then you know it's almost like it breaks down to the specifics to it and like i said if you don't have that pushback there's a good chance that your your, your bad ideas would keep reinforcing themselves so having this um so having this uh, uh, uh um having that recognition in your place of work when I say recognition here, I'm not talking about like official stamp saying you are now promoted to senior. No, none of that, right? It has more to do with how do the team members see you? It's almost like the difference between a leader and a ruler. With a ruler, power power is ascribed to the ruler. But with a leader, the people ascribe that mm -hmm. to who their leader is. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying that, and this is this is a pro tip. Hold on, this is a pro tip for if you want to get promoted. Very easy. Just look at what the person who is on that level is doing, and then promote yourself, and start and start Going operating at do. that level. Yeah, you get promoted to the level you are already operating at. Not, it's not like you are operating at this level, and they say, oh, we need to promote him. He's doing really well, and they promote you. No, it's that you're already operating at that level, and they're like let's you know make the the what he's already doing match what we say he's doing does that make sense mm -hmm. so I definitely definitely man it's it's like i mean obviously it's, it's not like you're saying something that if you were to sit down and think these things through you wouldn't come up with i mean it's basically work hard work as hard as you can but there's something about the tactic of you know making sure that you're doing the things that the level that you want to get to are doing don't just do for example the bare minimum of what you're receiving you know also solve those higher level problems and make everybody's you know positions easier if you can lighten the load if you will very very um yeah good good stuff man I'm, I'm looking at the time and i'm like man how long has this video been because i know i said that oh okay we're only at 13 we're only at 13 and it, once you start operating at that level you now start to even see oh these are the areas that i'm lacking in except that now you don't even have the except that now you don't have the downside of people trying to say oh you're you're supposed to be a senior engineer but you're not able to do xyz you get what i mean so it gives right. you a lot of flexibility if you're if you're stretching out and doing things that are one step ahead of you you get commended for it as opposed to you get promoted and you're not adequate does that make sense mm -hmm. yes it makes sense he's inspiring me to 
get back to work. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so here, here's the thing, right? Is um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm beating the, a dead horse with this. It's so weird reacting to myself. It's almost like I'm still like I'm watching this for the first. At your job. My experience has showed me that you always have to ask permission to demonstrate how awesome you could be. I don't like that, right? They will always, the default answer for any human being in general with emphasis on default is no. When you say no, there's a high likelihood that you're not introducing risk, period. We're, we're the majority of us are wired that way. We just say no, right? With, we don't even have to think. We just say no. We say yes, we introduce risk. That applies to almost everything, right? So hmm. you, you can still get feedback on, if we're talking about code, I understand that a senior developer isn't just about coding, right? I have a habit of when when I'm writing code and like I used to, it's a really productive habit, is just allocate one hour in the morning. And, and if you're really on it, one hour in the evening, every day, seven days a week, 365 of just focusing on a project and the, was it Darren Howard? I think it's the author of the compound effect. That stuff builds up. Uh, mm -hmm. Hence, Beach Mobile mm -hmm. that I built. Whatever. So, with that said, um, throw some screenshots of the the code that you're writing during your your morning one hour session, and post it. Right? They're going to tell you what you effed up on. Right? Uh, Odie he posted a screenshot, or yeah, he posted a screenshot of his code, and he got some massive feedback. Um, not saying that his code was horrible, but people started interrogating him on why he didn't use uh, certain things that were already built into the library. Mm -hmm. But make a long story short, you're going to get mentoring as long as you put yourself out there and you, yeah. you genuinely show interest of this is the objective that I'm trying to get to. And I really appreciate feedback. There's so much more feedback that you're going to get from the industry than you're going to get from your employer. Your employer is risk adverse. Industry right. is a community of people that are not doing it for the money. They're doing right. Your employer is risk adverse, has a whole bunch of extra variables to consider when they're considering promoting you, but the industry is an endless pit, an endless ceiling of an endless path of growth and an endless amount of people to learn from, to grow with, to connect to, and to mentor. And to, you know, like you said, if you put yourself out there though. So, hey, join the community like ours, the Digital Builders. Links are in the description. Follow guys like Tech Conception as well. Doing it True. because they're genuinely interested, which is another argument for F Sharp. When you pick your language, you pick your community, which ultimately results in relationships that you can maintain. That's right. True. So your uh, your ceiling is just higher industry wide, worldwide, you know, outside of your occupation. Why you you're you're I never thought about that for real, that you're technically holding two positions. You have a position at your company. And then you have your position in the universe as a developer that you say you are, you know, and you can get promoted in both ways, even though that second one, there's no paycheck attached yet. You know, there's a rank there too, still, or like, you know, a status that you have the ability to go for it, you know, pretty much go for the. There's been a couple, there's been a couple times where uh, look, <laughs> my authority gets questioned at times okay sometimes i don't think my authority would get questioned if i look like somebody else but i get challenged sometimes when i don't think i should be for certain things and so no we don't think so how, how, what makes you think that well I, I published a blog post on it here's a link this describes exactly the the shortcomings that that i ran into that i decided to document so that you my coworker doesn't have to run into this. Again, this is for the industry. Again, when you start contributing uh, or making contributions to the industry, it actually can help you at your job because regardless of your job, you are slowly climbing the ladder, if not being the authority figure, 
having already touched on something that your job didn't employ you to do, but because you're doing it as a practice with, with, as a software engineer, you already have insight, right? And that's happened to me a couple of times where it's like, uh, well, well, why can't we? Well, look, go to bizmonger.com or .net, whatever. Wow. I w he said, go to his website. Cause I was about to say, where do you post these things? I know they're big Twitter guys, which I need to get. I always hear that Twitter is good for developer community. I'm a LinkedIn and yeah, I feel like LinkedIn is mostly just self promotional, but maybe I could throw a different vibe out there on LinkedIn where I'm, you know, as I grow as a developer, sharing what I'm working on, sharing my code, writing blog posts to go with the projects that I'm working on. I'm working on two projects right now, actually. And um, very, very good, good stuff, man. We're at, okay, we're at 20 minutes. So, and I said I was gonna break this up in three parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop in here, man. That was super motivating. Like I'm honestly just trying to lock in and do some deep work right now. Um, working on two projects, have a lot to update you guys on. That's for another time, for another video. Um, and if this is your first time here, for some reason, shout out to you for making it to the end. Um, please like, share, subscribe, but don't just watch, join the community, hop into the Discord and send us messages. Um, all of us are in the Discord here, uh, plus a whole bunch of other people like yourself. If you're watching this, I'm Lionel the Builder, and I'll see you next time. Peace.